Ready for another try at launching on a test flight to the International Space Station, Boeing rolled a repaired Starliner crew capsule to United Launch Alliance's seaside rocket hangar at Cape Canaveral Wednesday to prepare for a liftoff schedule for May 19th. The test flight, known as Orbital Flight Test 2, will not carry any astronauts, but could set the stage for the first Starliner crew mission to the space station late this year or in 2023. When it launches, the Starliner spacecraft will carry a mannequin and about 500 pounds of supplies and is scheduled to link up with the space station about a day after launch for several days of cargo transfers and checkouts while docked at the complex. Boeing transferred the spacecraft to the Atlas V's vertical integration facility a few hours later than planned because of a hydraulic leak on the capsule's transporter. The convoy, which included security and support personnel, briefly stopped near the vehicle assembly building at Kennedy after a protective cover blew off the Starliner's window. Boeing said the cover is intended to be removed before launch, and its absence was not an issue for the spacecraft to continue its move to the Atlas V hangar. Once in position, a crane lifted the spacecraft on top of the Atlas V, which was assembled inside the VIF last month. Once operational, the Starliner spacecraft will give NASA a second human-rated capsule capable of ferrying astronauts to and from the space station alongside SpaceX's Dragon spaceship, which launched with a crew for the first time in May of 2020. But the program has encountered a series of delays and setbacks, including a test flight in December 2019 that ended prematurely due to a software programming error. Boeing prepared the Starliner spacecraft for another test flight in 2021, but stuck valves in the capsule's propulsion system forced officials to call off the launch. The Starliner spacecraft that moved to the vertical integration facility for the OFT-2 mission has now been outfitted with a new service module, and Boeing has changed procedures to prevent corrosion in the valves ahead of the spacecraft's launch.